Hello everyone and welcome to the Digimon Ghost Game video. This time I'm going to be talking about the penultimate episode of Ghost Game, which is episode 66, The Black Dragon of Destruction. Now, before this episode aired, I was a little bit concerned because we know that episode 66 and 67 will be the final two episodes of Ghost Game. I was a little bit nervous about how this episode could... Uh, really be a payoff for the whole series because last week's episode it honestly was just a fine episode however last week's episode being the third final episode made the overall episode feel a little bit slow and kind of a little bit too much just like oh we need to get from point a to point b but we need to get there because we haven't spent 64 episodes getting there we kind of have to get there quickly. So it was kind of like fast in a way, but also fairly slow. So last week's episode had me a little bit worried for this week's episode and of course next week's episode. I was also worried that this week would just be fighting Bloom Lordmon. However, that part was over fairly quickly because we have Gammon about to die because Bloom Lordmon is like guarding and protecting something and Gulas Gammon talks to Gammon again and basically makes him lose his temper and evolve to Gulas Gammon. Gulas Gammon then evolves to his perfect form, which we haven't seen in the anime before, but we do know of the existence of because of the Gammon BE memory on the Vital Brace at BE. So we've seen Regulus Mon before and other evolutions related to Regulus Gammon, or Regulus Mon rather. But this is the first time I've actually seen him in the anime itself, which feels kind of weird because it's it's now March and we first learned about him, I want to say, I mean, I know it came out in November, but we learned about the existence of Rigolusmon earlier than that. So that's pretty exciting. We, we finally get Rigolusmon in the anime. And Rigolusmon says that Gammon is now gone, which kind of m made sense to me because... I was originally wondering why it's Regulusmon and not Regulus Gammon. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've caught, I mean, I know I called him Regulus Gammon five seconds ago in this video, but I'm sure I've stumbled over and accidentally called him Regulus Gammon in the past, just because all of his other revolutions are thing, like prefix, Gammon. And Regulusmon doesn't have that, except for obviously Cirrusmon, who is not Cirrus Gammon, and I'm pretty sure I've also stuffed up calling that Cirrus Gammon as well and Canon Weissmon, I guess. But a lot of his evolutions do have prefix and then Gammon. But Regulus Gammon, oh, I did it again, Regulus Mon says that Gammon is now gone, and Hero says that he's going to synchronize with him, but Hero is actually trying to get Gammon basically back, because he can feel, still feel Gammon's presence because his vital bracelet lights up. Now, this then causes them to go to like a serial experiments lane or neon genesis evangelion kind of random in between world where we then have canon weissmon and regulusmon split and then regulusmon evolves to sirismon and then they they kind of fight it out bloom lordmon realizes that the characters are not villains and Freeze, Ampimon, and Diabitmon, who have been captured by his vines. And that's another thing I want to mention. In the fight at the start of the episode against Bloom Lordmon, I was kind of like, oh no, it's it's not it's just going to be them being captive the whole episode, not doing much. But I'm glad they actually did get to participate in the battle a little bit. I'm always worried when we have the... I know he doesn't wear goggles, but I'm just going to call him a goggle kid. We have the goggle kid who has to be the hero because the other character, hero, no pun intended there, um, or maybe a little bit of pun, um, because he has to be the big hero because the other characters are in some way captured or not able to fight or evolve. So I was a little bit worried about that when that happened straight off the bat, but it didn't end up being as bad as uh, I, I initially was worried about. I had a lot of worries about this week's episode. So they all fight, and it looks like Red Lusmon is losing. However, that was just a show to uh, lead the characters into a false sense of security, and Rugulusmon fires a big attack through Sirismon and leaves a giant hole in his chest, and 
It's honestly, it was a little bit gruesome, a little bit surprising. We didn't really have much body horror in this episode, and Ghost Game loves the body horror, and I wouldn't say the hole in the chest was that alarming compared to some of the stuff that we have had throughout the series, but it was still a very sudden ending, and then the episode ended. So overall, this week's episode, it honestly, it's, it still hint the whole my whole opinion on the series still hinges on the final episode, but this week's episode fills me with more hope that I had after last week's episode, which again, last week's episode was just okay, but it really wasn't good in terms of being a third final episode. It felt kind of empty. It was cool, it had some cool imagery, the animation wasn't fantastic, but I guess that it, that explains that they were saving up their animation budget for this week because the using of shadows and light was just fantastic, the backgrounds were great, every shot of the kids where they're just having like, they're getting like their reaction shots where they get to zoom in on their faces and see how they're reacting to what's going on, they were extremely detailed, there was lots of lighting and shadows, and the whole... The whole episode just looked fantastic and phenomenal. The evolution sequences are always great, but they were still always great. The evolution to Regulus Mon was just top-notch, very exciting. We got to see Gammon's uh, emotive face of when he is dark evolving, when his face kind of squinches up and we get like the dark, soulless eyes. Everything just looked just incredible. And that makes me really hopeful for the final episode. I'm kind of uh, a little bit disappointed that Millennium Mon maybe isn't going to be doing anything. I was kind of wondering why Hero has him just around. We had him pick it up in the episode instead of it going to Clockmon or whatever. And then I think it was the last episode, the episode before, we had him just kind of staring at it as he slept or as Moon Millenniumon slept and Hero was just staring at it. Uh, I don't think that Moon Millenniumon is going to do anything. I thought that Moon Millenniumon was going to maybe cause the evolution to Regulusmon. That wasn't the case. I mean, we still have next week's episode, so what could happen, and I won't say that the ev any of the other evolutions in Digimon's names, but I'm wondering if Moon Millenniumon will... <sighs> have something to do with those evolutions. The continuation of the fact that we now have Regulusmon and all of the Gulus separated from Gammon, them being two separate beings may lead towards something that could happen, they could fuse, and that could be maybe brought on by Moon Millenniumon. It is probably a stretch. Millenniumon himself is a Jogress. Uh, between Chimeramon and Machindramon, so maybe we could have them jogress to the super ultimate form of Gammon with the help of Moon Millenniumon. We also heard a an unfamiliar feminine voice in this week's episode, and there was like a shadowy Digimon hanging out. No idea who that could be. I'm sure if I zoomed in, enhance, 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 I might be able to see it but I kind of want to be left completely in the dark for next week's episode. Very much looking forward to it. It is nice to have a two-parter in Digimon Ghost Game, especially with last week's episode as well. It's almost like a three-parter, and I always felt like that's how Ghost Game could end, with the final few episodes kind of being one ep one big episode in separated into like three or four parts and that's effectively what we're getting even if the third last episode kind of was just like a little bit of a was like a pilot to uh to the plot I guess in any case those are my thoughts on this week's episode uh basically overall positive but still uh, next week's episode will really reveal how to feel about this series. If it's a bad ending, it will still be a fairly gr good series in my opinion. I've really enjoyed a lot of the episodes, most of the episodes. I'm enjoying it much more than I enjoyed Colin, and it's probably going to be near the top, but not probably as... If, if it's got a bad ending, it won't be... It won't overtake Tamers, Savers, and Atmon, but it will still be, like, fourth place. If it's a great ending, I can see it even 
dethroning Atmon as my favourite series. But that all hinges on how good next week's episode is. And this week's episode has made me a little bit more hopeful for the end. Just this episode was just phenomenal looking. <laughs> Even if you're not a fan of what happened in the episode, it just looked good. But in any case, those are my thoughts on this week's episode. Let me know your thoughts on this week's episode and your predictions for next week in the comment section below. Like this video, so please, Moo Millennium can mean something. Getting a little bit worried at this point. Uh, why would Hero keep it? If he's not going to use Moo Millennium, why did he say, I will take the, the, uh, the giant, scary, terrifying monster that has been turned into a gemstone? That seems cool. I'll take it. I won't give it to the Digimon who are in charge of the Digimon existing in the human world. I'm just going to take it. I just think it looks neat. I really hope that it goes somewhere. I'm I'm not going to be too disappointed if it doesn't happen, but I just really hope that something good happens. So like this video for Moon Millennium on, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you have subscribed, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbours. And I just released my Digimon colour unboxing video yesterday. It's a little low on views. YouTube decided to have the glitch where it disables the comments again. So that means engagement was fairly low, which means views are fairly low, which means it doesn't get pushed by the algorithm. So please, if you haven't already, please watch that video. Uh, just so it's pushed out to the algorithm a little bit more. So please do that if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Maybe my DMC video. Who knows? So in any case, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!